oh my god, oh my god. Ah. Guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So, as you know, on this channel, I am advocating sustainability. I really want to emphasize the FFS, Fabric Fit Style. I want my subscribers, if you choose to, of course, but I think it's a good idea. <laughs> I'm not being demanding, just, just, just trying, trying to get you on board because it's not a bad thing at all, it's a good thing. I want you guys to join the sustainable fashion movement. And by that I mean simply pay attention to the fabrics that you are buying and ensure that you're buying sustainable fabrics. And by sustainable fabrics, I mean fabrics that are biodegradable, and fabrics that can last for quite a long time, natural fibers. So it's your 100% cotton, it's your 100% linen, and rayon, viscose, some of the few sustainable fabrics that are biodegradable. And as we go forward, you're going to learn more about these fabrics that are very good for the environment. So many people are into fast fashion, but they end up in landfills, guys. My goal going forward is whatever synthetic materials that I have in my wardrobe, and trust me guys, I was so stupid and dumb at times that I didn't check the label. Oh, and now I'm really trying to make it up to Mother Earth because I've seen the detrimental impact on our waters, on our soil, the impact it has in the Caribbean. We suffer. I mean, we were always prone to environmental hazards such as hurricanes. But now, guys, they are fierce. And I don't mean that in the fashion sense. So you have seen the last, or you may have heard how destructive the last set of hurricanes are. Remember Katrina? Oh my God, guys, I'm trying. And I hope that you would um, bear with me and join in and do the best you can. If you love fashion like I do, this is just one tiny way of how you can contribute to the environment and that is by choosing the right fabrics and sending a message to the companies that are into fast fashions that they should definitely invest in sustainable fabrics and yes i know that some sustainable fabrics especially cotton can utilize a lot of water but at least cotton is biodegradable so it doesn't stay in the landfills and never go away anyway today i'll be sharing with you some of my shorter packets that i often gravitate to in the autumn as well as transitioning into the winter most of them are made up of sustainable materials thank god and these items are from my closet and i'll be showing you how i style them i wear them on the patio for drinks and i wear them casual fridays for work even when it's not casual fridays i would wear them i think these are gorgeous pieces they fit fabulously and i really enjoy wearing them year after year and I showed you the longer versions last time so these are the shorter versions and I definitely hope you find some inspiration the first piece is this red leather jacket and this is a jacket oh my god I love it look at the details on it 
and it was given to me by one of my former colleagues and now a very good friend Jackie Jackie if you're watching thank you so much I love you to pieces you are awesome so this was given to me by her it's from one of our companies here Danielle Leather and it's a really really gorgeous piece love the fit I love the vibrant red of this piece it definitely puts me in a great mood the details look at this zipper detail and it's very tailored I love that it has some of the gorgeous features that I like in the ones the longer ones I showed you you could see all the details at the back guys I am definitely a sucker for details <laughs> Oh, gorgeous look at these lines these darts and look at this it's at the bottom so I was given this piece in 2013 and I remember it quite accurately really love it it's a bit on the snug side but she insisted that she doesn't want it to go to a different home so I respect her decision greatly and I love the piece <laughs> it is a size extra small so it's a bit snug around the chest but I wear it undone and it's fine great piece and today I'll be pairing it with this suede skirt you guys have seen it um, from the last my favorite skirt haul so love this this piece is a forever piece for me it's not going anywhere it was thrifted years ago still in love with it today and it pairs so beautifully with the red I love the two textures as well as the colors absolutely love this pairing yeah in fact a two sweat skirts would be starring in this video today <laughs> the camel this camel piece is another piece that's not going anywhere because again I have a great relationship with this piece. It has been in my closet for over 12 or more years and I wear it every single autumn. Well as the black. Yeah so while the black piece is not the focus it is definitely one of the go-to pieces that I often pair my waistland jackets with and as you know because these are pretty short jackets I often pair it with my blanket scarf so that it add a bit more layer and warmth the scarf is about five years old and it's definitely synthetic but as you know I often provide you tips and tricks on how to look after your synthetic items so that they do not become an environmental burden so definitely do take care guys I must get the black and this is also another piece from Daniel Leather this piece was thrifted and I really really love it I was so lucky this looks like it was never worn and it's just gorgeous it's single breasted and it has three buttons in the front the only thing is the buttons are not that impressive I love great buttons on a leather coat and it's also a very great fit as you would see well for an extra small it is a good fit <laughs> gorgeous lines at the back this is another piece I tend to wear on I definitely love the contrast of these two as well as the pairing of the two textures so I love that I emphasizes your shape and your figure I like the way it contours the body so that aspect I really love well tailored so I love love the fit and of course I'll be pairing it again with the same suede skirt as I've said before this 
skirt it's it's not going anywhere it pairs beautifully with almost everything in my wardrobe like the red piece this is a piece from Daniel leather and it's absolutely gorgeous because it was made in Canada guys oh Canada I love that we could definitely support the local industries that's phenomenal bringing back manufacturing to Canada and of course pair it with your favorite blanket scarf this piece was thrifted from a local piece is a piece vendor. that was given to me from my friend Karen in New York oh my god guys I have been very lucky I have very good friends they gave me stuff <laughs> and I really do appreciate it that's how sustainable we are we tend to like share clothing items and although in many instances I must admit they gave me stuff uh, especially when it, it no longer could fit them they find me and they have such good taste this is a hundred percent suede very thick very sturdy and um, it has some really great details I just love the back as well that detail on the back it's repeated on the front of both sides of the jacket and I just love it this piece is an extra large and it is in such great shape and pairs beautifully with this piece it's a bit too big but who cares oversize is in she gave me this jacket about five six years ago now when I went to New York I'll be pairing it with my camel Ralph Lauren suede skirt this is a piece from the brand Rouge Helium and as I've mentioned before whenever a company makes an item from very natural fibers they get mentioned definitely guys let's keep this interactive and by that I mean give me a thumbs up and comment on the pieces tell me what you think of my styling let me know what goes through your head I mean your heads it's more of one of you thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one take care guys bye